Yo, what is going on my boils and ghouls and welcome back for another installment to a little horror series that I am absolutely loving. You guys, my name is Bebop Gaming and the horror game is Killer Frequency. You guys, this is a little fun horror game and I'm not going to give any recap honestly on this. If you missed episode 1 and 2, I don't know what you're doing on episode 3, honestly. Bugger off, go back. Check out episode 1 and 2. You're not going to want to miss any of this. Because this is a different approach to a horror game than what I was expecting. And this isn't for everyone. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm enjoying it nonetheless. And I'm playing this back to back to back. I think I might actually just beat this all the way to the end. I'm just kicking back enjoying the sheer chaos that the Whistling Man is bringing to this little town. But... We'll have to see what this episode entails for Forrest and Peggy. But if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel considerably. Okay? Also, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and you want to stay up to date with this series or Resident Evil or my upcoming horror series. Dun dun dun. But alright you guys, without further ado, I'm going to let Pass Bebop take us away. We're going to hop right back into Killer Frequency, and oh, I can't wait for you guys to see what's in store. But alright, let's do this. And I'm back. Let's go. Just load it in. We have a call waiting. Okay, take okay, this. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting to do this. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, yeah, The Screen. play the new one. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Murphy. Oh, Murphy, uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday what we got going to my on? son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, hmm. being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy Aww. birthday, Fernando. Uh. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man, oh, no. Big knife, we got ourselves a rebel Ruben. already. Come face me. Right. <laughs> waste disposal plan. This looks this like his cassette, though. What is this? Yeah, no, this is a bad idea. Are you gonna kick this his ass? This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose. The junkyard dog. Oh no. Oh boy. <sighs> and there he goes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. In the comments below, do you guys think Murphy's actually gonna be our little hometown hero? I still can't get over the last episode though, how we ended up losing him. But I have to play his. I have to play his cassette. You want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only twenty four ninety nine? Then step into master. You remember when stuff was affordable at twenty four ninety nine? And received direct by video warrior. I do. From me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. The discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the This ad is ridiculous, the though. <laughs> the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, Hold on. I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Did I? I did. Ultimate power I hit it off the side. Yours now for the low, low price of only yes. $24.99. Just call 555 usa Seriously, like back in the day, tw 20 bucks was something else. Nowadays, it means nothing. Never 
forget the element oh there's more <laughs> I thought that was it. This is seriously an old ad, though. Like, I remember hearing these kind of ads still in, like, early 2000s. I won't lie, it still grabbed my attention. Do Did I, ma really I made it. buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wh wow, <laughs> what a deal. Only twenty four ninety nine. dollars for words, too? And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. We got a caller. You know what to do. Hello, caller. Oh, You're I did have the music off. The I didn't even have it on. Me, I played the cassette. Forrest Nash. <sighs> oh. Who's there? Who is this? <sighs> Hello? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me. Oh, this is a 911 call. Hey, listen, caller, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them or Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to help you. Can you tell me your name? We're not going to talk about Sandra. I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths. She's in a Virginia. better place. She's in jazz okay. heaven. Please. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh Come God. on. I can make this. Fuck. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm goofing off. Can you run out back? No. What if he's outside? Waiting for me? Oh, God. Okay. Call for help. Or... Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. She's There's full on panicking. Just a down the street. You live by a frat house. Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get. Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I Taking might know, back. but... Wait, the takeout! If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. That pinned in on her voice at a serious weird time. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this! Did she just hang oh, up? Folks. Seems like our Virginia hung up. She did. While we try wow. to figure out what takeout to order. Here's some music for your own midnight snacks. All right, back with my tunes. I know him. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. I was gonna say, at first I didn't get the idea, but if we get the delivery people to tell the frat house to help this lady out, or even just the driver to help this lady out, that's someone helping. Okay. That's it? Gallows Creek only has three places? You know, Forrest, just for once, I think you should be thankful. That is kind of ass, I'm not going to lie. Like, growing up where I was at, I was in a little city. Like, we've grown tremendously in the last decade and a half now. But, oh my god. We still had more than three places to go and eat.
Okay. Uh, a normal place that a frat would just eat at? just pizza you know I mean first thing that comes to mind pizza all right we'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight that's not going to work take out client privilege what there was a lot of competition back in the day things got now ugly. it's called client it's identity story. but what we can do is this we figure out where the frat there's boys a few places from. that actually call the initiate out, that pretending to be from the frat place an order and include understandable them, though them to call the station there's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Hold on. I'm gonna say I made that. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Sorry, guys. I'm Check so focused. I don't know why. I'm just related. so focused on doing and maybe this. Maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Oh, great. I get the. Stretch right, my legs start. yet again. Thanks, Peggy. What Appreciate it. Order from Best secretary if I ever. Were a partying frat boy. We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or. Uh... That's not opening. I just have to look around. Okay, so I gotta look. I guess I gotta look up a number for one of these delivery places. Honestly, whatever I can find. Oh no, it is radio station. I was thinking maybe there was a way you could check, like, the caller IDs. Oh, what is this? This is cool. This is mine. Guys. Do I do I take this? Can I take this? This is mine. I'm taking it. This is mine. No, no, no. No question. No ifs, ands, or buts. This is too cool. This looks like little Bender. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Uh, hold on. Gonna wait. How did I just offhand him? How, how am I doing this? Okay. Hold on. This is so cool. This is so cool. I got a little pal now. We got a little pal in this, you guys! Okay, 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 okay. It's a little chili trophy, but you know what? We're gonna call him Bender. We got Bender with us as our special co-host. Um, hold on. So, I still gotta be looking around for clues in that, though. I'm not seeing anything though. You guys, I'm so happy. Once we get this little clue, we got our little helper with us. Oh, Bender's gonna call me down. Let me know I'm not alone in this, cause Peggy never leaves her office. I think I think Peggy did say down here though. I think I should be checking down here. Hold on. Okay. Well, this is like our little break area, so there's definitely got to be like a number or something for one of the fast food places here. Oh, well, there's no severed heads in here this time. Unfortunate. Looking forward to my low zombie head from Biohazard. So far, I haven't gotten a copyright claim, so I'm really appreciative of that. Happy that the music is so content friendly. Is this something? No. It's cool though. Ooh, cool cover. Can I just. just set it? On the table. The table. Yep. <sighs> okay. It's fine. Mm, that's nothing. <clears throat> you know, actually, that picture reminded me that this game is getting made into a VR version. And I think that'd be really sick. This would be a fun little cute game to play in VR. 
I wouldn't say it's all that cute, though. Honestly, the scares have been getting me. Okay, I am not finding anything, though. Nope, mousetrap. That's a nice little poster. I love these types of posters, honestly. Rooting through trash. Oh! This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Pontus Pizza? Okay, well, honestly, I was about to walk back to Peggy, but... I just so happened to think, you know, let's look in the trash. We found trash in this office. Or trash clues. I was already saying Ponte's Pizza, though. I've been saying this whole time. I don't know why you wouldn't just have one of the viewers... Or ask the viewers, actually, and hey, have them call it in. Useful? Yes, I did. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Hold on. I want to have my desk completely covered. Let's make the call. Time to turn the music off. Oh yeah. Okay, Hold on. Forrest. What lip? Look at Bender. T. Um. I want. I, I guess Ponty's. Like, I've been saying it this whole time. Pizza, frat house, Bender, like. It makes sense, right? Every, everyone's crazy. Uh. Maybe. No. I feel like the pizza place, but. I'm pretty hungry. I'm not gonna lie. Call. Ponty's Pizza. You got it. As much as I don't wanna, as much as I don't wanna, cause he annoys me too, Forrest. I'm not Ponte's gonna lie. Pizza is on the line. I wanna put Bender like. Ponty's Pizza. May I take your order? There. Whoa. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? Damn it, Bender. Uh, oh man, I got a frat to feed, so give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice, but that will take three hours. You sure? Ooh. Hold on. No, 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 Never no. Never mind, just give me the garlic bread. Can do. <laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Nice. Oh, consider it done. Damn it, Bender. Oh, how did I just turn this? Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. No, you should really not call. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Bro, Bender is over here pissing me off. I am not gonna lie. Well, I'm happy that we didn't go with the three-hour freaking order. Last processor. This lady would have never gotten help. 1980X. <laughs> we put them up, but not the right way. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? Getting no, tired of your wh shit. Where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty Just equal. Just stay. Right here. Damn. Okay, sorry. ADHD has kicked in so hard for this episode. Sure, but if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa covers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want Bloody really, hell. really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Here. Oh. Shut that off. And... Hello, Ooh. caller. You're live on the screen with me, Forrest Nash. 
I really want to organize my pile of trash. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fredman Bunker! We got some calling, Fred, and I know to call this number. <laughs> nice. Yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. They actually called the us, screen. though. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? No, you <laughs> idiot. Come on now. Sure, whatever. It, it's Goose. Now listen, I. Goose, dude, get your ass to the party. We got so much beer. <laughs> I, I, listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother is awaiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? <laughs> Jeepers, Let me get a man. Second opinion. You got a little Charlie Brown voiceover in the background. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control it. So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. The flow, the flow, the flow. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Got you guys. With the power of the Get radio and the it? power of Thank Bender God. and Listen, Peggy. You've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you. Just say no more. Bunker's moving the house. Forrest, line two. Wait, really? They're just. <laughs> Hello, you're live. Jesus, on frat kids. The scream. Forrest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Grace. Oh my God, it's it's you, isn't it? God, I, I got talk. you. Promise. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Let's go, dude. Oh, God. He's good and Oh. Oh, is that you, Radio Man? Frat for the save, man. Let's go, Tight. Bender. Let's go, Bender. I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. Woo. You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and Let's go, Peggy. Brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Ooh. Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Wait, hold on. I need to put this pizza down. Hold on. I'm trying to organize this trash I pile. I take this call. Yes, I know I should. It's there, fine. Oh. Okay, Forrest, shut the music yeah, off. I'm, I'm doing that, Peggy. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest. Look at that Bender just chilling here. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. Do not. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. <sighs> oh my god. If you don't know... Good for I, you, friend. I'm glad you're keeping safe I don't know what to tell you. Thank you. Oh, I'm really living It should be obvious American who... Dream. This is Here in my business. <laughs> oh, Ponty, you are not you slick. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small 
business really is my whole world. It's coming. It's coming. What's your small business? Oh. Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Party's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in the I home. bloody knew it, Come man. I get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Party, no! No free ads! I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. <laughs> Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Jesus. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Sure, our oh, the, What's your name? This is actually what someone else. I was expecting Name's Ponty Eugene again. Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. <laughs> looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady uh -huh. coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned uh. to get lost in the maze maze tonight. Take our first oh journey boy. together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And an since hour? I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Kid, I mean, I'm dense like this sometimes with certain Eugene, things, but you this... really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But uh... oh, oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Can you hang, hang out with us at the radio You're station. So I guess she came after all. Molly, hey. I'm in the middle. It'll take a little while to get here, but uh. Thanks again, Forrest. All right, Molly, let's go. Oh, that's not Molly. Wait a second. Molly can't whistle. <laughs> no, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. First. <laughs> <Not worst. laughs> Hold on, let's. <laughs> what can we do? Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carl, I'm about to die a virgin. Listen, Eugene. <laughs> Breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. For Molly! Well, <laughs> while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Oh, that's just... It's funky, it's groovy, it's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. I think this song is appropriate the maze for maze. the occasion. You know, Barbara, our receptionist. But we'll save Eugene maze for maze malls. Fanatic. Don't worry. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. That is hilarious, though. I'm gonna die a virgin. <laughs> Maybe we should call Barbara then, if she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see Let's what you can find. These. Okay. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? <laughs> Right, yeah, sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Peggy, I was gonna say I'm pretty zoinked right now, but, uh, just saying, all you had to say was just reception, the receptionist, you know? I, I, it's down the only area that I can go to. Okay, anyway, I need to stop being an asshole to Peggy, holy shit. Peggy's come in clutch quite a bit, though, I'm not gonna lie. 
You know, I will. Bingo. Here's nice. What I was looking for. Oh, not nice. What the fuck is this? I've tried so hard not to swear in this series, man. Episode 3 broke it with this maze. What is... Oh, my God. Here, hold on. All right, Eugene. We're going to get you out for malls. Don't worry. Hey, Peggy. I want to say that I am sorry, okay? Being an Any ass. Luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never know. mind. It doesn't matter right now. Oh, well, so I took it out of the trash later. and threw it on the floor, Eugene technically. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Boy, Eugene! Hold on. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I... I don't They're really doing I our little intros. I'm at a crossroad, facing a tractor statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay, hold on. So if he's at the tractor, the hail bells, then he needs to go left. Yeah, he would have to go up, so left. Actually, looking at this, this isn't that bad. I think this is doable. I think I could get him out. Because I'm seeing the path right here. I don't know. Man, uh, I'm hoping my expectations aren't what I'm thinking they are for this, but I Go think left. I got it. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. Okay, hold on. I actually think he went the way I wanted him to. I think he took an extra right that I wanted. So, go. Go backwards. Oh, God. Why didn't I just invite her over? Oh. <laughs> I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Nice, I'm actually getting him through this. Okay, okay, okay. Left. Go left. So oh, this thing man have a chainsaw? Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. Scarecrow behind him. He's almost there. He's already almost there. God, this maze is just so goofed up. Okay, hold on. Uh, Go right. right. I almost goofed that up. I'm not gonna lie. I almost said, uh, Go, I can't remember what way I was gonna say. I can't run much more. Come on, Eugene, you got this for malls. I just passed a cord and silo. Didn't see anything else. Please, where do I go? Oh, God, hold on, hold on. Go forward. Shit. Oh, shit, okay. I goofed that up. Here I go. I didn't mean to hit forward. Look right. No, no, I I'm going back to where I was. Jesus! 
Oh, yeah. shit! Oh. He's cutting through the wall! <laughs> Where do I go? Um, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if he went backwards, he needs to go... Hold on a second, Eugene. We're gonna get you out of here. Go right! Yes! I'm out! And my bike's still Let's... here! Mm. Oh, thank God! Thank you, Forrest! I love you, Molly! <laughs> <laughs> that was tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. Shame the maze maze got all cut up. Yeah, better it than Eugene, though. Oh, my the way, God. Why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. No, that's tough. That is tough. Oh my god, we're still only at 1 a.m. Thank you. For we're close to 2, though. Bolton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. All right. Well, Gala, you're choosing a song. Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful oh, show tonight, Forrest. Song. Dude, I can't believe we got Eugene out though. Well, that's kind of you to say. Thank you. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune, sure. Long ride home. That old song, sure. I don't you think I've seen. I don't I think, think I, I saw that. The other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Is that actually in here? All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a Why? few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't it? have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I. I threw it out the window earlier nice, today. Nice, Peggy. Nice, Peggy. All I gotta say. Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. Today of he all days. He repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. <sighs> Screw you, Ponty. All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. True. Okay, folks. You're not wrong. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Hope my little sound effects cheered up Don. Okay, so we saved Eugene. Could not play the song for Don, unfortunately. Because of Peggy. No, I'm kidding. Of all the songs so, to request, I, I said I would stop. Be that one. Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Here, Roddy? Hold on. Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Nice. Ah. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest. Forrest. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's shoot. Murphy. No. Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. No, I, man. Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? <sighs> I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn piece of. He came for the gallows waste disposal plan. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. I got a flashlight, but 
Oh, oh god damn! I smell smoke! I think he started a fire! Hold on, Murphy, we'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, Imagine man. beating up a guy that has his own commercials for now, like self-defense. Peggy, get the fire department on the line. Sorry, I love Murphy. Alright. Now just come on. Oh yeah, Coop. last episode, you guys said I had all those low. My bad. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste admit, Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? No, dude. He Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. Fuck! Why do you guys only have one? Nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's... old. Really old. Okay. I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Okay. So Alex would be like over in here. Okay, well I figure this out. I'll speed ahead of this because I think it's actually here hold on then you're over yeah I'm gonna skip ahead of this so I will see you guys in just a second I think I got it. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? I think... Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He just told us he's at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Okay, okay, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, my bad. I want to just double check. I'm ready, don't All right, worry. Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Call Alex. All right, give me a second. He's got to be the best bet, though. He's like right there. I'm hoping this is the right person to have called. I really am. I don't want to lose Murphy. They're on the way. They'll yes. call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. I'm hoping so. I'm really am. It was a tie between this guy and Catherine, but this guy was closer. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Are you sure you can't? Wait, what? What's happening, Peggy? What? Alex was too far away. No! The plant burned down. It collapsed. No! So he is. Poor Fernando is gonna D be crushed. We'll put the snow here. I. His father, yeah. His father died a hero. He was just trying to protect the town. That's actually pretty nice, Forrest. I mean, Murphy, what else are you gonna say? You know, we will stop he seemed like a pretty for you good guy. And for Fernando, annoying, Peggy. but it's going to be alright. Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. All right. You know what? I gotta conclude it after that. There's no way I can keep going. We just lost our main boy. Murphy, our self-defense instructor of the town. Man, this whistling man fellow is pretty fearsome if he can take the likes of Murphy down. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe I, I seriously did not see that note. I promise you I did not see that note till afterward. Oh my god, I should have picked Catherine though. I'm so mad. Okay, though, I'm really enjoying this horror game, though. This honestly could have really been set up like a movie, though. It really could have. Oh, I would watch this. Dang. 
Ah, well. I get to enjoy it and make my own decisions. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are thoroughly enjoying this as much as I am, and if you are, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I'm just gonna call it here after this. Rip to our boy Murphy, you know, just... Ugh. Hopefully his kid Fernando will get some vengeance tonight. We'll have to see what happens in the next episode, though. But alright, I will catch you there, or... Hold on. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. I wanted to Let's see, if see I could what they leave. have to say. Nah, you know what? That's it. I'm calling it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.